Today we're looking at family frogs. This video comes from Samon King Audits, who is, I believe, the son of Samon King Transparency. Him and his fr family and friends decided to go audit a state capitol building. And let's see how they handled that one. Hey everybody, welcome back. San Joaquin Audits here with the San Joaquin family. Got San Joaquin Jr. right there, SJVT. Sam Joaquin Copwatch slash Nate Skates 182. Are you live? No. You know, they must make their family proud. Wasting everybody's time. Being froggers. You got a whole family of doing that. Well, only, only time will tell how that plays out. Now, I just cut out a big chunk of the video, so it's going to have a weird jump cut. But it is due to the fact that it was nothing really important. It was just them going over the history of the building. Which is not why they really are there. They're really there just to cause trouble for the state employees and to see if they can get a lawsuit out of the deal. We all know why they're there. Correct. So even the state trooper understands that we, what we can, when we're standing in public, what we can see, we can report. We're not trying to, like I said. But we're asking not to record us. Respectfully, I decline your request. Okay. I don't think we got to say. I don't need to do like I said, man. But you can I, I, I understand. I understand, but I'm just asking you respectfully right. to respect us as being our job. But can you respect me to uh, to practice my First Amendment yes, right? No, of course. That's why right. I'm asking for you to record for me. There's, no right. there's no better place in California <laughs> to practice your First Amendment right than okay, the state capital. But I'm just asking if you can record that way, but not as a security. I've already recorded this way, man. That, that's why I'm asking if you can record that way. Good, now, come on. How you doing, man? Good. Which, in fact, if we wanted, if we wanted to leave the building, we could go out that way, right? Oh no, this is actually an employee exit only. There you ah. go. Now they realized. Oh wait, it's the employees exit only? Hmm. Maybe if there was a sign. Wait, there was. But you guys were so belligerent on trying to flex your freedom and your constitutional rights that you didn't even realize it. Well, maybe you should learn how to read, or pay attention to your surroundings. Oh. Makes total sense. That we entered that way, so that's the way we're gonna exit. Yeah, we're just actually we're just walking by, man, and I was kind of a little being, I was being nosy. I can't even lie. I'm not gonna jive you. Fine. I won't jive you. But um, I was standing in public, and the lady said I couldn't record that way. But I told her I understand. You know how you feel. You respectfully ask me, but I respectfully decline. Yeah. Cool. I, this place is it? actually beautiful, man. I've never I seen never, it. They, I ever told them. Okay, we're not. No, we're good. Thank you. I'd like to move badge number, but look at what your badge number moves. You, you, you're good, guys. So we just have to have our, our name with us, and, and we'll see what it gets. One, five, three, nine, two. Very easy to look up. I'm actually the permits person, so I deal with all the different groups here. But you do know it's your department policy, right? All the time. Whenever a public asks you in your course of your duty, mm -hmm. you yeah. have a badge yeah. you do so if So the way the, the law is written, actually, and the way the policy actually is, is that as long as we have our name do you have your badge number established on your on your vest where I can see it? Okay. So one okay, cool. You see I do the same thing you guys do. Right here. Right here. When you guys don't want to identify, we do the same thing. It's right here. Presumed authority, so Los Angeles and the go find a job. Huh? What was that? What was that? We heard a voice tell them to go find a job. Which would be good if they weren't if they weren't lazy, but th these are frauders. They'll do anything to start tr start trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on over. What was that, buddy? Come on over. Come on. Come back. Where are you going? What was that? You want to say that to the camera again? Gang. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Why do you have to be rude like that? I want you rude. You said go find a job. Do you say that? Yeah, you're a coward, you know that? Why would you say that to us? I'm everything you say I am. Why would you say that to us though? You can get through. What makes you think that I don't have a job, man? This guy this guy Well I could answer that one for you. You walk around with all these other frauditors, all you do is cheer for frauditors. You cheer on your son who's been on who's gone on probation. Then you go and harass the probation office. Then you go around harassing cops around town, 
So yeah, I think anybody would think you don't have a job at that point if you're doing this 24-7. Fox up and says, go get a job. That's crazy. Why don't you stop being a welfare recipient? You don't, you okay, he's not a welfare recipient because he works for the for the government. Yes, he is a police officer. Well, in this case, a state a state trooper. So, how's he a welfare recipient when he's not on welfare? Welfare is a government program to help those who are less fortunate or on low incomes. But again, you don't care. You just want to rile up people for clicks and views. You only have a job because we pay taxes. How dare you? Uh, why are you you know what the high school education program is? High school diploma. That bad shit. How dare you? I own a business. I'm a business owner. I'm in the private sector. Shame on you. You know, if you're a business owner, why aren't you managing your business? Oh wait, your business is YouTube. Same business I'm in. So let's get one thing straight. You're not a small business owner. You're not. You're not doing anything but harassing people. And if I were you, I'd be watching out for Sony's lawyers and Rockstar's lawyers. Well, fair recipient. You don't talk to the public like that. You act professionally. Exactly. What's your badge number? And zip your jacket so I can see it. It's your yeah. department policy to identify. Got Immediately. That badge and gun, you ain't shit. Well, there you go. 21681. Damn fool. Hey, we're gonna follow orders, buddy. Are you guys First Amendment orders? Are you here for anti matter oh, We don't answer questions. Let's go this way so we're not cleared. Is that cool? Yeah. Because we're in this area. Hey, man, you heard what he said. Hey, you need to educate that guy. He wasn't with you. I didn't oh, hear he what he said. Him. He was no. dealing with finance and says, why don't you guys go get a job? Like, how is that to speak to the public? Well, you can't really prove it was him who said that. All you can prove was somebody said that to you. But not who was it. Plus, if you guys really had jobs, which I don't believe you do, you guys would do something better than that. I don't have a comment on that. I didn't hear that's it. That's disgusting. That's unprofessional. It's unprofessional. No, so tell me, are you um, are you guys the uh, Central Valley First Amendment guys? We're just here to record. We're just here to record. No, I know. I know. You guys want to be on? Uh, I want to find you. Let me explain about. this to you, man. I'm the biggest channel. I'm the biggest channel in California that does this. Okay. And we do it for a reason. Okay. Yeah. Here comes the ego boost. Look, nobody cares about your YouTube channel. All you guys care about is being frauders, wasting taxpayers' time, wasting taxpayers' money. Plus, all you guys really do are harass the cops when they're out trying to do their jobs. These are my sons, but we go out yeah. and we educate. We don't try to stir anything up, but we give what we get. You know what I mean? Yeah. That guy deserves everything, and I'm doing my best to not give it to him. No, and I respect this, Bill. I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna look around. Have you ever heard any of your other troopers around here? Anybody talk to the public like that? Go get a job. I, I didn't hear that, so I, I, I'll. That's disgusting, bro. So uh, did he give you his name and badge and all that? So no, yeah, yeah, he did. I did. Hey, can we talk to the supervisor yeah, so we can maybe file a complaint on that guy? I can go. I can absolutely call the supervisor. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate. appreciate you know, instead of being Karen's just looking for the supervisor, I'd be ready to find a lawyer. Because if Rockstar or Sony finds out you got that design on your on your stuff in your merch store, they might come shut you down and hit you with a very bad lawsuit for trademark infringement. Get it. Not too bad. Pretty good. 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 So this is your the uh, supervisor. supervisor. Yep. I like to call you guys sergeants. I know you wear the uh, three chevrons. Yeah. I like to call you guys manager because sergeants is a military term. We're at war with the people, but that's not why we're here. One of the troopers walked by. G I A N G. Okay, yeah. Um, he walked by and he told us that we should get a job. And uh, we don't understand why he would say that. He said, go get a job. Go get a yeah. job. Yeah. And, uh, Very unprofessional. Yes, it might have been unprofessional for him to say that. But one, you can't prove he actually said that to you if it was him. Secondly, you guys were the ones who were being really unprofessional, if you want to go that way, about running through that restricted area for employees to just come through and leave. Enter. So... Who's the pot calling the kettle black here? Very unprofessional. I very agree. Rude. And uh, I don't think that he should be talking to any members of the public that way. I would agree. Um, and uh, it's just, it, it feels disgusting. I brought my kids here to have a tour. Sure. And I just feel like we were mis- I have to call into question the fact if you actually did bring your kids there for a tour, or if you're trying to get them into the family business of being predators. And disrespectful. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why, because we have cameras, we're looking around. Yeah. Um, 
Well, what, what I what I can say is that this is a, a public building. Um, you know, it's it's a people's house, right? Um, but it's also an office building. People work here um, every day, come to work, uh, do their thing, and all that stuff. So, something that you want to file a complaint from? Absolutely. Uh, we have an online form that you can go ahead and, and go on there and and document whatever happened. Uh, if you have that on film or whatever else, we'll gladly take whatever information you, you have and we'll go through the process. Yeah, I, I will definitely be filing a complaint okay. because I don't think that any other member of the public should be talking like that. Anyway. Yeah, and, and if, the, if the fact that happened, you are absolutely correct. That, that, no, I have it on video. So. Okay, that's, that's, that's fine. So um, just to let you know that absolutely we will. Uh, We're doing the video here today. If you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Give a thumbs up because it really helps me with the algorithm. I will be linking my Twitter and my PayPal. If you want to make donations or send me any content, I'm glad we view it and accept it. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. And have a great day.